Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show you a very simple ATC card. ATC cards are artist trading cards, and they are cards that you can, uh, that some people or groups rather will uh, do to trade. They'll have a theme. You can use these, make these, and send them as random acts of kindness to each other. Uh, very inexpensive to mail. And I get asked so much about, you know, ways to when you're starting out, what can I do? I don't have a lot of supplies, this, that, the other. So this is gonna, I'm gonna show you a few things. So first I'm gonna talk about this one. And this one is an ATC card. Now I'm gonna wait until it's all the way dry and trim it around a little bit better, but this is just kind of what I did. And you can see the delicious paint. And this is a gorgeous artist trading card. Um, and so many different things you can do and ways to do it. I'm going to show you this one. Um, and let's get to getting. So this is a, uh, artist trading card. Like I said, how many times am I going to say it? Maybe one more time. Hey, this is an artist trading card. They are always three and a half by two and a half. Always, always, always. Now there's, uh, inches. There's all kinds of different ones. This is, can be done to any of them, but this is what this is. So. When you go to your local uh, dollar store, yes, dollar store. Now this can be done at your craft stores, uh, Walmart, anywhere, but you can always get napkins. Now the dollar store always has gorgeous napkins that you can get. They have them, uh, you know, for all the seasons and that kind of thing. So always look. And these just happen to be ones that I have. And what I like to do is I like to take glitter and I'm using the Folk Art Extreme Glitter in neon orange. There's a million different colors of this and the new uh, Glitterific, which is delicious. And there's a ton of colors in that. Like I love that leaf down here and then the butterfly. Oh gosh, I just love it all. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do. You can do one of two things. You can take this apart because most napkins have, that's a big boy, uh, you know, like the two ply that you could take apart. Or I like to leave it like this just while I'm working because then it will, um, it's easier for me to paint. Do you know what I mean? But you do whatever floats your boat, the world's your pickle. You know what I'm saying? So I'll lay these here and I already started some. And I used the, what are you called? The Glitterific in hot pink. And then I took some of the neon orange in the extreme glitter and put that on there. And then some of the, what color are you? These are very hard to read, especially for somebody old and blind like me. Where are you? Well, that's a, that's a, Hard one to get to green. I guess it's just green. I don't know. But the these are great because they have all different sizes. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that of glitter. Every wonderful size. So I took the green and I, I painted the leaves. Like I said, I took the neon orange and the extreme glitter and the chunky uh, glitterific in the pink. The green, again, leaves this, that, the other. Here I have, which is one of my favorites. It is called da, 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 Clear Hologram, and it is just gorgeous. Look at that, all that color in there. So that came out gorgeous, and I did it on this one. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So all I did was I painted. I suggest, like I said, paint the whole thing, and I just used some regular paint brushes. Uh, fun to do with the kids too, because what I would do is I would paint all this and I would do, you know, with the glitter and like here, oh, you could do uh, dark and, you know, light and oh gosh, there's different butterflies, all that kind of thing. But I would paint it all. And then what I might do, instead of using it as one sheet, I would go in and cut. And these are great scissors. These are also from Plaid. They are the Laura, uh, Laura DIY she's a youtuber but these are great because they have for younger uh, kids they're blunt 
and for people like me who end up, it's a whole thing with me. So you would just go in, cut out, you know, what you want. If you want to do it this way. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, and there's gorgeous, like I said, this. Come on. And you can see, like, this right here, this rose. Come on, come on. So I would probably cut this out like this. Because remember, you can layer these on top of each other. Delicious as well. So you got that. And, I mean, you can't get rid of this. And then even in here, look how pretty this is. I did this. Look at those. Just with that pink. Glorific gorgeous and you don't have to do the rest of it that just adds like why hello there sister do you know what I mean so you have all that deliciousness um and then you just take your card which like I said I glued it as one sheet I laid it on here where I wanted it and I did a little bit of the rose up here you could see the different you know techniques and then I took this delicious Mod Podge Ultra which I know people are going to be like, uh, uh. no, let me tell you. But listen, use your regular Mod Podge mat. Use, you know, what would be even fun would be if you, I was going to say even funner. <laughs> the Mod Podge glitters, like the Mod Podge mega glitter and that kind of stuff to like put over the whole top to make it glittery. I mean, you can just go crazy. Also, you could do this in a, an art journal, like as an art journal page. Let me show you that real quick. So let's say you have an art journal page. You don't know what to do as a background. You're stuck. You need some, you don't like the white page. Just paint it, you know, do the glitter and all on it, or just use a napkin, glue it on, and then there you got your background. Then I would take paint and I would like a um, white or an off-white and I would mute most of this out and pick certain pieces. I, oh, it's a whole thing. I love it. Okay. So anyway, so you see there. You take this. I get so excited over products because I have been, let's do it on here. Lately I have been uh, cutting out, I did a video on it, but these little pieces, and these are great to even, you know, use to stick on top of things. So, you know, if you're doing ATC cards and all that kind of thing, but all you do is you give these a good shakes and make sure you clean these when you're done because you see it dries like, you see that little thing on there? So always, I'll just take my nail, scrape it when you're done. And I give it a nice squirt. Now you can definitely squirt this on and then squirt the back of this. I just wanna show you a couple things about this that put a piece of printer paper out or scrap paper to squirt on. I'm using this because it's nonstick and I'll clean it up, but you know, if you're using your kitchen table and all, you don't necessarily want to do that. But what you'll do is lay it down where you want it because we're kind of collaging. Now, remember, it doesn't have to fit on here. We can cut that off after. But I'm just going to go on and just kind of, I just tap it down. I don't even believe you have to. I think it evens out by itself. And I'm just going to lay these down. Now, of course, you can put these on first and then... Um, glitter them I just lost all train of thought okay there we go and I'm just gonna that that and you would continue on or do whatever way you want leave it dry it is not going to be sticky so when you use this like here it's like milk it's like nothing 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 um so then I'm gonna and I'm using gloss because I wanted to have a little bit of the gloss and then I would just, you know, I'm just going to take, but like I said, if you, you know, use your paper and just always use it every time you're done, but you need to leave it dry. Um, I usually leave it dry for like an hour or so and it will adhere itself because if you go on here now and go to lift it up or whatever, it's not sticky like Mod Podge, uh, you know, that you paint on with a brush. Now you can paint this on with a brush as well and you can do pourings with these as well. But that's not what I'm doing today. I will, though. I'll do it and show you guys. Because it's, you know, when you go out, you want to buy something that you can use for so many different things. Not just for, uh, you know, one thing. Now, Mod Podge is very versatile. 
it you could do a million things with it um but this is nice because this is for indoor for outdoor for <clears throat> sealing so once you're done you just go spray it one more time it's done it brings out the colors like i can't even i can't even tell you just of the napkin itself you know like here like i th this was just a white underneath and you can see the colors of the napkin just a little bit more vibrant and so much fun and now you can go back i used also on here on the black butterfly um some of the uh, multi-surface licorice because i like the I, i'm so in love with the multi-surface paints but i like the sheen it gives it even though this gloss ultra will do the sheen you know as well but i just kind of like it you know and you can see i didn't do over here so um maybe i'll go in with the hologram clear hologram i'm gonna give it a little shake we'll do this little bad boy right here and i'm just gonna take a round brush i use what usually whatever i have sitting here but of course use whatever you have and i like to dab it because i like a little bit of texture and you can see i sprayed on here um when i was done to seal it and it did not take the shine away and this is the mod podge uh gloss okay so you can see i'm doing that i have a little bit of my brush i'll do a little bit here i already have some there but you know you can just do your little thing do your thing and then make sure you put your brush in water And like I said, sprayed it on here, but that is still, look at that gorgeous, the colors in there. And now, look at that. Look how gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So you can do it either way. I, <laughs> I don't like to, I like to color, don't get me wrong. I love to color. I uh, don't have patience for the adult coloring books. Although, let me tell you, I have many because each time I'm like, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. But I can't see. And it's very frustrating. Like if I'm sitting on the couch and I'm not feeling good and I want to do something artistic and I want to color, um, I get out my coloring, you know, my adult coloring books and my pencils and my all that kind of stuff. And then I got to take off my glasses to color, but I can't watch the TV. And I like to do that sometimes at night if we're watching a show or watching a movie or whatever. I like to be able to do both. And so those coloring books are so small. So small. I can't see things. And I don't like it. It's not enjoyable. It makes my anxiety go through the roof. And it's just not enjoyable. So anyway, what I like to do, and I like to do this with kids. I like to do, um, as you know, I have a five going to be six-year-old nephew so i just put my finger on that but it's okay because now i'm sparkly um you know you can just sit and color these and paint these whatever way you want you can use acrylic paint you can use watercolor you can do whatever you want and just do the whole thing you can see how big these are okay and you know and then when they're done you have them can cut out pieces do whole pieces i like to you know set it down and be like oh okay i really dig that for that coming off that end you know so just ideas just ideas and you can see it's getting a little sticky already because it was sticking to the base it's getting a little tacky still got a ways to go but you can see and i am somebody who does not like to waste so i will cut this off on the top i'll have that glitter and that'll go on a background of an art journal page or whatever you know, just as a farama, whatever the word is. So I'm going to wipe this off because, you know, I'll forget. And I don't like to do that because I love this stuff. Okay, so that is basically it. Sporadic, maybe. Delicious. Oh, yes. Delicious. 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 So much fun. R really, I this spray. And like I said, you could, this goes outdoors. It goes on all the surfaces. And, I mean, you just can't go wrong. And it's much more controlled, like I said, when you're doing it with the kids because they're not dipping in and, you know, which, believe me, my kids have done that for years where they take that sponge brush and dip it in and take it out and it's everywhere and easy cleanup. But, you know, so I just wanted to do a demo on this. Easy ATC. I probably went on and on. But guess what? I just love 
showing you guys easy things to do. And if you don't have, you know, Mod Podge or what have you, there's a million other things you can use. You can buy, uh, use Mod Podge mat. You can, you know, everybody has stuff sitting around and you can use it and do the same thing. Think outside the box, go to your dollar stores, go to your craft stores, go to your, um, you know, Walmarts everywhere because you always can find stuff on clearance. And even if you're spending 50 cents and there's only maybe a butterfly you want from all the pieces that are in it, it's worth it because you're getting, you know, stuff to start building up for your mixed media, ATC cards, art journals, the whole thing. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'd appreciate it greatly. And let me know what you guys think of this. I'm very excited. Um, and I do enjoy these so very much. These are just delicious. And I've always loved the extreme glitters because these have some, um, let me see if I can show you on here. They have the color. Like it's just not all glitter. It is like you do get, it's just very shiny today, but you do get like the color as well, which is a lot of fun too, because you can really embellish a lot of things. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Please share me around. I'd appreciate it greatly. And progress, not perfection. This is about playing and having fun and finding things that work for you. So I will be back uh, hopefully tomorrow with another video. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.